guys welcome to the channel today we're in Africa Ohio and we're at the Africa Cemetery and we're gonna get in here and get started it's all this and across the road you got all this some of it is newer and we will not be recovering the new on this one we'll just be covering the older just to let everybody know all right let's get started we're going to start here at Mr. Flagpole. There's Oh Glory flying in there like she should. And we're going to start right over here. <coughs> and of course, the very first one we're not going to be able to read. It looks like a Roxanne. And she died in 1881. I think she was 26 years, 10 months. And I'm going to say nine days on her. Then we have Catherine A. Fair. Right here. That's all I see on Catherine. Okay. Then we have... I have no idea on that one. But they died in 1876 at 68 years and 16 days. See if anybody else is on it. There was somebody there at one time, but they're not there now. And that's all that's on that stone. All right. We're going to try to cover two rows at once. This is a father and a mother. It's Peter H. Loop, 1806 to 1885. And Mary A. I mean, Mary M. Loop. 1818 to 1889. Then this is going to be a child or an infant, more than likely. All right. Then we have WMH son, Peter and Mary M. Loop, died January the 7th. Looks like 1851 on that one. All right. Then we're going to have a child or an infant on that one. Child and infant on that one. Child and infant on this one. Child and infant on this one. And then we're up to unknown. We have an unknown here in this plot. Right here. All right. Then we have a Civil War veteran here on this one. It's got to be, ooh. I thought it was going to be Benjamin, but no, it's not. I don't know what that name is. Anyways, they died in 1881. Looks like 25 years, 7 months, and 5 days is what I'm seeing. That's a good looking old stone if it's cleaned up. There's somebody else right here, but they're faded away just about where you can't see them. And there's somebody else even right here. And I cannot see nothing on that one, guys. So, that one there. Good looking old stone, though. All right, let's move on. And we have a foot marker with WHL on it right here. Then we have another unknown. I've never seen a Markham unknown like that. This is a new one on me. And there is a bunch of them. This is Hannah. She's the wife of Joshua Devine. Died May the 28th, 1853. 28 years, one month, and 16 days. Then I have one. Well, I'm going to make sure they're unknown. The two behind me is unknown. This is somebody's name here. This is Joshua. 1878 to 18... 22, not 1872, 1772 to 1822. Wow, there's going to be some Odies in this one. There's an unknown. And these unknowns, who knows how long they've been buried. Unknown. Unknown. And this is Emily 
James, James. 1857 to 1858. Rest in peace, little one. Rest in peace. Then we have Robert. He was a Civil War veteran. Then we have Orlando on this one. Then we have Heman. Jays. Jays. He was in the Civil War. November the 3rd, 1878. He was 45 years. And we have Tootie. Tootie? No, Hooley. Hooley on this one. It looks like Hooley died in 18. Uh, almost looks like 24, but I wouldn't swear to it. And then there's somebody at the bottom. It's Olivia. And I can't read her. There she is. All right. Then we have Emily on this side. And Emily died in 18, looks like 50 something. And then your Orlando, he died August the 1st, 1873 on the bottom. Let's see if there's anybody else. There is. You have Robert Ross. He died in 1896 at 66 years, three months on that one. All right, let me go up a hair more and then I'll go back and catch that other row. We're done. We're done. Julian Arbor. We can't read this one, but this is a Civil War veteran. All right. Then we have Henry Clark. He died August the 16th. 1876 at 40 years, 7 months and 20 days on that stone right there. Alright, let's get this up over here. Then we have another unknown. We have another unknown right here. Wow. Then we have... Looks like Eli Beth. No, I think that's Elizabeth, that's what it's trying to say. Good Hugh, good Hugh. She was the wife of Satch, Satch, Satchel Clark, and she died April the 25th, seven, no, she was born April the 25th, 1795, and died April the 20th, 1876. Then you got Satchel himself, he was, he died October the 13th, 1867. He was 71 years, 11 months, and 11 days. Then you got Sarah Gilmore Clark, the daughter of Satchel and Elizabeth Clark. November the 21st, 1830 to December the 26th, 1888. Then you got another child or an infant, more than likely on this one, that I can't read. Then you got Helen... Jay Cox, 1850 to 1853. Rest in peace, little one. Then we have Mary. She's the wife of the interim Jay Cox. And that, that, she died November the 29th, 18... I think it's 1880, at 51 years, 6 months, and 12 days. Then you have... Imperum Jay Cox. And he died, it looks like January the 12th, 1880 or 86. And I'm not sure how old he was. But he was a Civil War veteran. Alright, then we got an unknown. And an unknown here. Alright. So that takes us the whole way down through yonder. Alrighty. Then we got Corey E. Clark, 1855 to 1870. Helen M. Clark, 1837 to 1865. And Henry Clark, 1835 to 1876. Then you have J.K. Clark, 1794 to 1887. And Hannah Clark, 1815 to 1890. One of them is a Civil War veteran, and I believe it's 
J.K. Clark. But there it is. Then we have uh, E.A. Reinhardt. That right here. Don't have a date, just says a name. Then we have this one, Chowder and Infant. And then we have this one. I can't tell what it is. Then we have a, a, I'm sure, an unknown. 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 So that takes a big bunch right there. All right, then we have David Conkton, 1835 to 1916. He was in the Civil War, so he's the only one on there. David is the only one on there. All right, then we have Ethel, 1879 to 1914. We have Martin Conkton. 1844 to 1909, he was a Civil War veteran. We have Helen Conkin, 1854 to 1901. Uh, Robert T.J. Conkin, or not Robert, Herbert, 1891 to 1893, rest in peace, little one. Blossom, 1889 to 1890, rest in peace, little one. Roy E., 1885 to 1889, rest in peace, little one. And I'm sure this is a chowder and infant marked with this down its wall. And then we have an unknown right here. All right, let's see who's on these two. We have John Canning. He died. Uh, Something to seven, and it looks like 1878 to me. But I wouldn't be the I mean, you be the judge of it. Then we have Catherine, the wife of John. Died April the 12th, 1851. At 80 years, three months, and a day. All right. Hang on, guys. All right, this is Julia J. Baker. Born 1850. Died uh, 1929, says a Civil War veteran. And then I have, I counted nine unknown graves in that area. Right in there, guys. All right. Then we have a baker here. It says S. Baker. But see, they don't give a date on them. They just tell their name. That's new to me. I've not had any like this. And we have this one. They died in 1871. I can't tell who it is, but it's a good looking stone right there. Then we have JT or JL Baker, but it don't have no date. We have another unknown. As a matter of fact, we have, I believe four more unknown. Unknown, unknown, unknown. So we're gonna get this one. This is gonna be Elijah A. Fenton. He died July the 23rd, 1856, 66 years. Then you have J, no, J, J Rush, J Rush, J Rush, I believe, I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyways, they died of February the 17th, 1852. Then you have, I have no earthly idea on this. There it is. All right, then we have, we'll catch these up, I guess. Then we have, we're gonna have five children in a row right through there, but I don't think you can see any of them, but I'll look at them in a moment. This is Margaret. She died in 18, looks like 1857, May the 6th, I believe. Then this is Sarah, she's the second wife to, W.S. Steele died November the 18th, 1878 at 71 years, 5 months, and 8 days. Then you got Mary Allure on that one, but that's all it says. Then we have a un, 
Uh, we know we have a a veteran here, Civil War. Then we have MS right here. Just tells what plot they're in, basically. They don't tell anything else about them, though. Then I'd say this is probably another child or an infant on this one. And this this one is as well. It's for children because it's got a lamb on top, but I can't read it. There it is. I think it's the only ones I see on it. But you can't see much on anything. Yeah, these ain't good stones. As far as seeing to read them. But anyways, we're gonna we're done up to here. So let's see what we got in this little run. It's gonna be a child or an infant on that one. A child and an infant on this one. A child and an infant on this one. A child or an infant on this one. And a child or an infant on this one as well. I don't like all these child and infant ones. Then we got William. Still. He was born April the 29th, 1805. And he died May the 20th, 1898. Then we have... I believe he's the only one on there. Yep. All right. Then we have unknown, unknown, unknown. Then we have. Well, we'll do this one first. It's a Hannah. She's the wife of W.V. something. She died in 1856. That's about all I can tell on her. See if he's on here anywhere I mentioned. Nope. Just her. Wow. Hmm. Then we have an unknown here as well. Then we have... Hey, we got one with a name on it. It's William. That's that. Then we got a John. That's two with names on it. Then we have somebody on this one too. It's Frank. Hey, Frank. And then we have uh, another John. So them had names, but they don't have any dates or anything else about them. Now let's see what these are. We made it to right up there. This is. Oh wow. They died in 1861 or 4. I can't tell who. But I can on this one. It looks like Charlie. Charlie died in 1860. I am not sure what that is. 1860 something on Charlie. Right there. Uh, I don't know if we've done this one or not. It's a child or an infant. On that one, it's a child or an infant. On, no, well, I'm not sure on this one. Sometimes it's used for a child or an infant. It depends. This is a good-looking old stone. Looks like they died in July the 29th, 1851 or 31. It's Vesta Louise, and she's something to the Harris, and that's about all I can tell. Then we have Catherine. Uh, Burrows. She died February. Oh, wait a minute. No. She died in 1844, April the 13th, 1844, and she was 22 years and two months. This is spelled out April, and that's 1844. I didn't see it at first. Couldn't tell by the way that's made. That's a beautiful stones. Here's a beautiful one too. And this is going to be Lamon Burrows. And he died 
looks like August the 26th, 1846 on him. 1846 on him. He was 31 years of age. He's got a beautiful stone as well. All right. So that takes us way over to way down here. I gotta still catch them red ones at the end down on these other rows. Then I'll get them. I just gotta get down here. All right, then when it's up to this one, and I cannot tell nothing on this one, guys. I see August the 3rd right there, but that's all I see. I can't make the date after, after that. There it is. Oh wow, look at this one. Shame you can't read that one. That's a pretty stone. That is a pretty one right there. It says something about 1817 right here. That's 18 and that's 17, but I wouldn't swear to nothing to pass that. But I'm not saying the date's 1817, no. I'm just telling you, I think I see 1817. All right. Then we have, looks like a bunch of unknowns again. I don't know how they put people in and I don't know. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we have on here eight. nine and ten so we got ten graves that are unknown right at the moment right here so that's ten more I don't have a clue who they are there is this one I can't read it but there it is all right that's all that's on that one you might as well say this one's unknown too we know he's got another name JW that's JW uh, there's our next one and Bar I'm not sure Barmuthal I'm not sure on that name anyways it looks like they died in 1872 on that one there's somebody else right here though and they died in 18. I don't know if you take that as 22 or 72. You be the judge on that one. It's on a, well, something Wallace. I don't know their first name, the last name's Wallace. All right, there it is. All right, let me get down to these down here where we can read these. Oh, man. I ain't never been to a cemetery that had a mark like that. Especially with that many unknown. Wow. That's something. Then we have Donald R. E. Potts. He was a GM3 in the U.S. Navy. March 24th, 1934 to April the 5th, 1958. All right. Then we have Potts again. We have Ernest C. 1907 to 1968 and what Thera 1903 to 1967 on that one let's see who we got on these then we have white we have Mark K Mark K we have Mary K Potts if I can read August 4th 1929 to August 4th 2004 we have Buzz Fred H. Jr., November the 26th, 1930, to January the 14th, 1993. They were married December the 31st, 1948. All right. Then we have Potts again. We have Charles D. Potts, October the 8th, 1938, to February the 11th, 2014. Then you got Patricia L. Potts, August the 6th, 1942. He was a World War II veteran, and they are together forever. Then you have Charles Dennis Potts, 
He was a private in the U.S. Army in Vietnam, October the 8th, 1938 to February 11th, 2014. Then we have Thomas E. What? Schwank? Schwank? <clears throat> August the 1st, 1942 to no November the 22nd, 2020. A beloved dad, grandpa, best friend, and peepaw. Then we have Thomas E. Shrank II. May the 19th, 1971 to December the 23rd, 2015. A beloved son, brother, and uncle. Then we have Penny S. Green, 1952 to 1954. Rest in peace, little one. We have Vernon J. Green, 1880 to 1959. And we have Maud B. Green, 1886 to 1971. Then we have Vernon Green. 1880 to 1959, and Maud B. Green, 1886 to 1971. Then we have Davis. We have Ruth F. No, Ruth E., I'm sorry. 1918, Thomas E., 1915 to 1977. He was in World War II, and they were married April the 1st. 1937. Then we have behind me, says Thomas E. Davis. He was private first class in the U.S. Army in World War II, July the 25th, 1915 to December the 4th, 1977, I believe. Then we got Davis. We have Margaret, 1887 to 1953, and Louis E., 1884 to 1958. Then we have Yard House, or Yar, it's not Yard, it's Yar, Yar House. We have Phyllis, 1934 to 2020, and Joseph E., 1931 to 20. And it says, going home. Oh, that's down right there, going home. All right. So we got all that done. So we should be up to, uh, we done pots, we done, did we do white? I don't think we done white. Yeah, we did, we done white. We're up to Pierce. All right. Up to Piers. Piers. This is Wil 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 Wilmer L. 1906 to 1985, and Doris Waiter. Waiter. 1904 to 1984, and that means, I believe that means somebody in their family was in the Revolution War, if I'm not mistaken. But there it is. Don't count me 100% on that, because I'm not 100% sure. All right. Then we have Swank. Again, we have William L., November the 15th, 1937 to June the 19th, 2020. They were married June the 6th. 1958, Yodi A. Clay, January the 10th, 1940 to January the 17th, 2016. Then we have son, William Lowett, Shrank, Jr., July the 8th, 1960 to February the 3rd, 1980. Rest in peace. Then we have Martin, uh, here, 
We have E. Stanley, 1907 to 1982. And we have Ibadale, 1908 to 2001. All right. Then we have Letha M. Annette. 1917 to 1997. Then we have Martin again. We have Ronia. Ronia? Ronita? June the 15th, 1884 to April the 15th, 1977. We have Reverend Otis or Otis M. September the 19th, 1879. To September the 25th, 1961. The Lord is my shepherd. All right. So that should be, have us to these two rows. We done two coming in, two going back, and we're coming down again. I think. I know I done that one. I don't know. I have to look. These are confusing the way the ends set up and they're not in a row with them. Anyways, I think we're right here. This is Jay. Uh, I'm not sure on the last name. It looks like he was in the Civil War. But that's about all I can tell on this stone right here. All right. Then we have this one. And I don't know what was on the top of it one time, but it's completely gone. Which means the sides are gone as well. There it is. Then we have... Virginia Kurtz or Curtis 1845 to 1929 Then we got this needle stone after three foot stones We got this stone and it's gonna belong to Philip Dursk died April the 6th 1874 at the age of 23 years Mary Dursk died December the 3rd, 1864, at the age of 19. David Dirtz died 1843 at the age of six weeks. Rest in peace, little one. Then we have, on the same stone, we have Philip Dirtz. Died July the 10th, 1850, at 37. Sally A., the wife of Philip Dirtz, died September 29th, 1860. Looks like four. No, it looks like two. At 42 years. I believe that's all that's on that stone. It is. That's all the nurse is. All right. Then we have. I did do that stone too. It's so on these two roads. Okay. This is Sarah, I believe. No, it ain't either. It's Sal's. Sal something. I don't know. I have no idea. They died in 1854 is all I can tell. September the 16th. At 60, maybe 62 years. I'm not sure. Then we have James Mobile. Uh, Noble right here. James Noble. On that one. Then we have I don't know. Can't tell again. Herence William. Herence Williams on this one, but I can't tell nothing else about Herence Williams. Then we got four more unknown in a row. All right, let's get this row up. Then we got S.A. Thompson on that one. All right. I ain't got a clue on this one. They died, it looks like 1837. I'm seeing something about 1837. So I don't know. Then we have. <laughs> Seems like each one just gets worse. Can't tell nothing on them. And I do apologize about the wind and the shaking. Wind's blowing so hard I had to use the old gimbal. That's you're going to have the shaking. The wind's blowing, so you're going to have wind and noise. Ain't nothing I can do about it, guys. I'm sorry. Here's another unknown. Then we have an infant of the Faust family. Rest in peace, little one. Then we have Olivia Faust on this one. Rest in peace, little one. 
Then we have this stone right here. And they died in 1850, it looks like. It's going to be, I think, a George, but I wouldn't swear to it. He died September 28th, 1850, I believe, or 59 on that one. Man, I was hoping he was better reading than this. Thought maybe as we got in the garden, it might be better, but it ain't looking that way yet. Here we have Sarah Williams. She died in 1866, August the 3rd, I believe. And she was the daughter of John and Ann Foster. Uh, she looks like she was 25 years, 6 months, and 14 days. You got to stand on your head to get these. Then you got, Aunt, uh, I believe it's Ann Foster. Died March 20th, 1876. 56 years of her age on that one. All right. I'm going to do a few of these, and I'll come back and catch that side up. Then we got Ellen. She's the daughter of S and P. Fenson or Fearson? Fearson, 1840 to 1873. All right, guys, we got to end this one to start a new video. Please share, like, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you watching, and there will be some videos out of this one because it's a pretty good sized cemetery. Anyways, peace. I'm out of here.